Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen and I just wanted to share with you guys how I was able to get rid of my eczema as a child and now maintain my skin as an adult. I'm 20 as a young adult. So jumping right into it, I remember I got my eczema when I was pretty young. I was in elementary school and it carried on until about probably before I got into ninth grade. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a dermatologist and get your skin looked at because that's the only way you're going to know exactly what's going on. So what I had on my skin was atopic dermatitis and that can cause your skin to be itchy, red, easily irritated and just very uncomfortable and possibly painful. So um, the dermatologist is going to prescribe a medication to you that best fits your skin and your kind of eczema. Um, so the prescription that I, the medicine that I was given, was prescribed to was called Locoid, and it was Locoid Lipo Cream, and this was a product that I believe was applied only at night, and because it is a steroid, so you can't use it an unlimited amount of times. So you can only use it um, once a day, I'm I'm sure, and so that's kind of like a downfall because you know when your skin is itchy, you're gonna want to use something like immediately that can just soothe it, but that was a great stepping stone and that really helped calm my skin down. So moving on to into what I use to maintain my skin, um, there are a few products that I believe work um, wonderfully. So the first thing I use for my soap, my body wash when I go in the shower, is um, Cetaphil. It's a Cetaphil or Cetaphil, however you want to pronounce it. It's that um, bar soap. So I use that. It's very gentle. It's fragrance free. There are no dyes in it and it soaps up really well and it does not irritate my skin whatsoever. So when I get out of the shower, I make sure that um, after I towel dry that my skin is still a little damp and then I go on and I apply my cream. Now when I was younger, I used Eucerin or Aquaphor, but those are kind of like ointments. So they're very oily on the skin and can be very uncomfortable when you're going to sleep. Um, so I would suggest using what I use now, which is also the Cetaphil brand. It's their um, their cream, like their lotion that you put on your body. So as soon as I get out of the shower and I towel dry a bit while I'm still damp, I go ahead and apply it on my skin because I feel like the moisture helps just like seal, it's just sealed in all of the moisture and it keeps my skin pretty moisturized and it's not oily. It's like kind of like a regular lotion or or a heavier cream, but not too heavy. Um, so that helps keep my skin uh, refreshed and free of eczema. Another thing I do is for washing my clothes, I make sure that I use fragrance-free detergent. So I use my free and clear, my all and clear, no dyes, no detergents, no fragrances that are going to irritate your skin. That's another important thing. Also on top of that, if you're someone who likes perfumes, you're going to need to be very selective and very careful because th that's another thing that can irritate your skin or at least my kind of eczema that I had, that's definitely a trigger for it. So one of my suggestions is to not spray it on the areas where you usually get your um, breakouts or where you get your eczema. For me, it was mostly the back of my neck, um, sometimes my eyelids, right on the um, outer side of my wrists, behind my knees, behind my elbows. Um, those were the main areas where I would get my eczema. So I would never spray perfume on this area because I know that it's easily irritated. Even though I'm maintaining my skin now, I wouldn't do anything to cause it to have a flare up once again. So I would probably like, I, if I use perfume, which I rarely do, I'll probably spritz it right here and maybe on the inside of my wrist, but I definitely keep it to a minimum. Um, and that's pretty much it. You, you just have to use the products that work for you and stay steady. It's all about, you know, being, maintaining your skin and being consistent. So I hope these products work for you guys. I'll put a link in the description box for every single product. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.